All the sessions I've played of Dungeons & Dragons have been homebrew house games, where you have someone hosting a group who's really nice and very generous and makes space for everyone. Hi, Eric. Even though I've been playing D&D for years, I've never gone to D&D's Adventure League, which, if you don't know, is Wizards of the Coast officially licensed series of games that they run. If you have friends who don't play D&D or are too busy, you can pop into one of these locations, sit down with a group of strangers, they'll teach you the rules and play through a session. Also, it's free, which is really nice. They have pre-generated characters and extra stuff, so all you really need is dice, but even then, most other players are running around with enough dice to outfit a small army. First off, I was taken aback by just how short the session was, which is a compliment coming from me, though it just depends what kind of game you like. The sessions were just under three hours, running from 6pm to 9. In most home groups I've been in, they won't even meet up for less than four hours, an average about six. Let me tell you what for snap or something. When I played 4th edition games, believe it or not, those ran from 12 to 12. Noon to midnight, and it was a federal case on the days that I had to leave at 10, making my getaway sprinting to the door. Sometimes, if I wasn't pushy or we got caught up in something, they would play even later till 4 in the morning. 4 in the morning! What is wrong with you people? In case you're wondering how you get 16 hour sessions, it's by having combat encounters last 2 to 5 hours. That's how. Don't even get me started on the boss fights. The second thing which struck me about Adventure League was how streamlined and clean everything was. We were playing Tomb of Annihilation, and there were a few sessions in, trekking through the forest. I'm asking them, man, it looks like you guys are gonna have a field day trying to work my character into their story. And the GM goes, no, you're, you're just there now. You just showed up and now you're with the group. Huh, that was easy. So the GM doesn't have to, like, work my backstory in or anything? He's just like, there you are, you're with the group, now get going. If you want to figure out why you're there, that's on you. Like, you can just do that? And it really sped off the pace of the game. They didn't feel the need to have to invent something like a reality rift that keeps pulling characters in and out of the story. You mean, I don't have to wait around for two hours until they find my character in a jail and break him out? Plus, if I had to listen to five other players' backstories, we'd be there all day. Especially when you consider that this is a week-to-week -week group. And if they had to reintroduce everyone every week, nothing would get done. It also gives this nice drop-in, drop-out mechanic where players can easily switch characters between session. Or if they have work or something, they can not show up for a few weeks and then jump right back in. As for the other players, this group was very quiet and more focused on the game elements of the game than the role-playing. Which made it slightly less awkward, but would probably kill the fun for a lot of people I know. A few players role-played, but not everyone, and not as much as a home game. Also, while in home games everyone is friends and that carries over into the character's actions, we were mostly guys who came together to get a job done, and that carried over as well. Everyone was really absorbed in what was happening, so we didn't keep having to give them a summary of the fight so far after every turn. There also wasn't as many rules complications. I'll give people some leniency, after all D&D is really complicated, so it's understandable, but there was none of those situations where they have the book open up to the spell they want to cast and they hand it to the GM and ask them to read it because they're too lazy to look down and read five words. It's five words on the text that's right in front of their noses. I use the spell Bless a lot when I play, which gives players a bonus to their attack rolls and saves in most games. Normally, I constantly have to remind people about it. Remember to add your bonus. Did you add your bonus? Remember to add your bonus. Have fun at school today, you little scamps. Don't forget to take your bonuses, or else I'm gonna have to drive down there and murder all of you. <laughs> no, there was none of that. They remembered, and I didn't keep having to mention it. Pro tip, something I learned from those guys which really speeds up the combat in big groups. Roll your d20 and damage dice at the same time saves a lot of time. Everyone in the group does it. Overall, it was a very different experience for me. Fun, very fun, but different. Although I should mention that I mostly play RPGs to hang out with friends and secondly to play a game. I'll be playing with them again sometime, but I do get why when I talk to people about playing in Adventure League, they're like, Ugh, Adventure League, why would you play in that? Well, I don't know. Maybe because they actually read the rules and finish their games in under 16 hours. I'm still not over this. Who has that kind of time to sink into a game? I am a busy person. I have stuff to do. Lots of stuff that that I do that's cool and interesting. They don't know that I make videos on YouTube, so they might believe me. Hey. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.